what a sophisticated group of folks we have here. You're going to love this game. What I need is a story, an, uh, an event that may have happened recently. Uh, you, uh, why don't you, do you mind sharing a story with us? Sure. Um, can I get a handheld mic, please? Thank you. And what's your name? Sam Orlando. Sam Orlando. Cool. That's a cool name. Give it up for Sam. <laughs> So, uh, tell us about this event that happened to you recently. Well, um, this is when I was like four or five. I was in Germany on my way to Italy, and um, we were getting off a train, and there was a gap between the ground and the train, and I fell right in between there, and all you could see was my arm and my chin, basically. And the train doors were closing, and my mom just grabbed me, and thankfully I was not injured at all. But I almost died that day. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is intense. Is that enough? How, how old were you again? Four or five. Four. Three. Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> uh, did you remember, I'm wrong on all counts. Do you remember anything from that day? I remember that experience. Oh, I remember it was my brother's fault. <laughs> brother contribute? Wasn't that one, my other brother, his name was Tommy Orlando, and he was supposed to be holding my hand and helping me off, but um, he let go of my hand, I went sprinting, and boom. So I blamed him, even though it was my fault, but I still blamed him. So I held that over his head for years and years. <laughs> That's amazing. Give it up for Sam. happening forever. <laughs> we, like, we like to show you that story in the style of the bard. We present to you Shakespeare. <laughs> It is ready to commence forth, yet needs passengers. Who shall board? If thou art willing, please come board this train and find destiny. <laughs> brother, brother. Yes, brother. <laughs> The house of Orlando needs an heir. <laughs> Won't you be that heir? I will make sure of it. <laughs> you are so wise and learned. <laughs> yes, Samuel Orlando. I feel that your learning shall suddenly cease. <laughs> it shall find its stopping place in a place that stops and then stops. But mind the gap. <laughs> the gap in my knowledge, brother. If that helps you get through the day. Listen, fair brother. We have been through many things in these Three to four to five years. <laughs> I've loved you each day. And I you. <laughs> but each day a little less than the day that was before. The trajectory is not on your side, Samuel Orlando. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I'm confused and feel as I should run away. Happy be I to cease ringing this bell. Here, give me your hand. The train does away. He falls. He falls within my sight. I must react. 
as an employee of the railroad. Yet, my brain freezes upon the tragic sight of a small child falling within the gaps. I see him descend. He continues to descend. I must attempt to help. Where are the parents? We don't know.